have to do a little kinetic pull here. There we go. So we're on our way to a job right now, and on our way, we just saw a car that is off the side of the road. So we're gonna stop and see if they need some help. What in the world? Should is... we use Rory's? Man, that's a new color. Yeah. I would just do a nice little static pull here. It won't be. It won't be a big deal. Does this one have a tow point? It does. Oh. Well, this is an off-road equipped Prius. Rory makes a rope that short? Yeah, this is for trails. Like, tight trails. This makes it so we don't have to double it and we won't be like clear across the road. Oh, okay. Are you turning in your hubs? I can't believe he turned in his hubs. He would have gotten that easy, I think. Okay, just put it in reverse, no gas. We're just gonna see what it does. Um, he'll tell you what to do with the front wheels. All right, just gently back it up. Looks good. Made it. Okay. Well, thank you. That was way cool. Yeah, enjoy the rest <laughs> of your day. Stay out of the mud. Have a good day. <laughs> All right, we got that done pretty quick. So we got a call for an RV that is stuck in the mud at the Wright Family Ranch up on Smith's Mesa. We're gonna head up here and see if we got it. We got Colin with the weather. It is 48 degrees. We had some rain last night. It looked like it turned to snow up here and it is really muddy. So they woke up, they wanted to head out this morning and they tried to move and found out they couldn't. So we're gonna go up there, see if we can get them out. So we had a car show yesterday and this Jeep was really nice and clean. Not so much now. It is a beautiful day for a muddy mountain drive though. This mud is a special kind of slick and we've done dozens of jobs on this one mile stretch of road here. Oh man, look how much I'm, I don't even know where straight is. Hey cow, hey cow. Ooh. Those look delicious. All right, we've got somebody up here that may be stuck. Boy, I would hate to be in that rig right now. I don't see anybody. This is gonna be a job driving this RV out of here. This is, this is no joke. I know we're making jokes about it, but it's no joke. A lot of you know I run the Milestar Patagonia MT-02s. I read a lot that said they're not a good mud tire, but for what we do, they actually perform really well. There's a song about it, in fact. Where does the little Jeep go through sand and rock and mud and snow on its Milestar MTOs? It'll get you safely there. We should lock the hubs in out of respect. That's you. I'll get my side. I'm getting the hubs. Look at this. When you hop out of these, you gotta make sure you hop. You cannot put your legs up against them or else you get muddy. Oh my goodness. This is awful. Yeah, this is an unimproved campground. So word of advice, if there is rain, snow, or anything like that in the forecast, do not go on Smith's Mesa or any other clay road like that. Yeah, don't leave an unimproved road. Oh yeah, they went right off the road, didn't they? We'll talk to them and see if we can get them back in safety. I'm trying to figure out what they did. And... Yeah. I've got a guy that called me back here. I've got to get out. When we get in the road, I'll pull you out here. Have you called anybody? No. no, we've been trying to figure out our own. All right, so here's the deal. We've got this RV to get out. We've got that car back there to get out. And I just got another call that there's somebody stuck down at under canvas, so we've got to go get them. So I don't know if we're gonna make it back in time for church today. We're just gonna to have to do good deeds. Mom's not gonna be happy about that. Doing good deeds? Well, the not getting there on time part. This is a mess, look at this. We have found them. I can't get out. He parked in a water hole. Jump out, dude. I can't. I'm in a mud. I'm in a water in a hole. hole? Okay. There you go. That's still a hole. This mud is crazy slippery. Oh yeah, you don't want to be up here like this. Anytime it's wet up here, it is awful. Just 
look at this. This is awful. Okay. Did you bring your trash bag? I'm, I'm going to be so muddy by the time this day's over. I might as well start right now. I like that green rope. It suits you. Yeah. Yeah, Rory's got great taste. What an awful mess. Oh, I know. Okay, so here's what I'm going to want. I want you to drive this out. I'm going to need you to read the road and understand what that's going to do and make adjustments. All right, girls, hang on. Okay. Take, just go take it easy. Right. I don't want any mud on this windshield. Man, this is in here a lot further further back than I was thinking. All right. Just going to have to do a little kinetic pull here. Okay, just keep doing what you're doing. Smaller bumps, though. Okay. There we go, we're moving now. We're just gonna stay hooked up to this because there's some scary parts up here. And we're just gonna ease on through it, see if we can do this. Looks like the gas doors opened on the banana. We're gonna have to close that. Super slick. This is my first time pulling anything this heavy out of the mud. It feels really weird, but we are so close to the main road. But that'll drive that out to the pavement. We'll be back in a bit. All right. All right. We are unhooked from Colin, and we are headed down this steep little hill right here. We're gonna see if we can make it out under our own power. I could say. We're gonna see if we can make it to the bottom under our own power, but we also wanna make it out. This is about as steep a hill as this thing will do. I don't even know if it's gonna do it. If it would let the wheels spin, it clears the grease off the top and gets you down to that hard pack, but it mm. keeps uh, keeps cutting power. There, it's, it's even doing some brake-based traction mm. control, which is the worst thing right now. I just don't know how to turn it off. There's some way to do it. All right, we'll just, Ease on out of here. If there's any trouble, we'll let you know. If not, we'll see you at the bottom. Oh, I have to take these out. We get in trouble. They're like, when you hand them that flat, that bag, it's so cold and callous. I don't know why. I would, I would rather have my shirt have a it. clean bag instead of your dirty hands. There you go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, hey, kids, I wanted to meet you guys. What's your name? I'm Tatum. Tatum? Uh, Tatum awesome. And then you got three puppies in there? Two. Oh, two puppies. This is Buddy, and okay. this is Winnie. Oh, hey. They love the people. Hey, little Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> All right, we're going to go get some more people. Okay, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, guys. No joke. Thank you. All right, we got to go up and get that Subaru, and then down to under canvas to get a wood trailer? Something like that. Something. Yeah. We'll go see. All right, we had Colin drive in here because I'm lazy. We're about to get a super Man, it is going to be a mess getting this Subi out of here. It's just getting worse and worse every time we drive over it, too. Yeah. This is one of the situations where I don't know whether I want him to drive it out or me to drive it out because I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to hoon it a little bit to get it out of here. I hate the mud. Back when I was in high school, when it rained, everybody's like, let's go mudding. I went mudding one time in my own truck, and then I had to clean it, and it was awful. So after that, every time somebody said, hey, let's go mudding, I would hop in their trucks instead of taking my own yeah. truck. 
and I'd go have fun. Mudding is a rich man's sport. Somebody that can afford to change bushings and bearings and ball joints and tie rod ends and steering boxes and U joints, all that stuff. If you got enough money to change that all the time, mudding might be a good sport for you. Just back into this, and we'll have to just pull it back up on the road. What a mess. So did you get sucked off the road here and then? Yeah, and then we tried to get back. Down, right, where, yeah. right where you're at there, where we got sucked in. Okay. It's got this toe eye. How loaded is the bat? It's, uh, it's just got like coolers, a couple of things in there. Okay, let's get the toe eye out. He just said he hated mudding. Right there. All right, we found the nautical eye of towing and recovery and shipping and import, export, exporting and importing. We're gonna put Colin in the banana. I think he just messed it up some more, didn't you? Just a little All right. bit. So whichever one of you is comfortable being in this, let's uh, get you in there and get it started up. Okay, Colin, just ease up. Okay, we'll, we'll do no gas at first okay. and let him do the pull and just stay in reverse with your foot off the brake. Yeah, I just look through the back window. I want you to turn your steering wheel all the way that way. Okay. okay. And then put it in neutral. Okay. All right, Colin, pull nice and slow. Off the brake. Put it in reverse, no gas. Okay, that worked. We're just gonna leave the tow eye in here for a second till we get you to pavement, because we may be using it on the front in a minute, and it won't hurt it to stay there. Mind if I drive this out Go of here? For it, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get some of the mud off, but it's okay. It's right. who knows? Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what our options are here for. Drive. Is that a traction control button on that? Right? Okay, traction control is off. I know a lot of you would be comfortable doing what I'm doing right now, but some of you wouldn't. This is a situation where using the gas is more important like the the steering input and the gas is more important than the brake because things are going wrong and in driver's ed they teach you when things go wrong to slowly depress the brake and come to a stop and get things under control but in this environment that is that is usually not the answer for what needs to happen we've got to keep wheel speed up we've got to keep the car straight and i'm going to be using a lot of throttle and steering input to do that completely ignoring the brake at the moment. this thing's beeping at me probably because my seat belt's not on let me see if i can figure that out how do seat belts work that did it so like i said i was afraid i was gonna have to hoon that to get it out of there and i definitely did and there were some big ruts and some big potholes and this car is pretty low 
So I opted to go a way that was smoother, but it was soft. I think we're gonna get out of here now. It's just beautiful out there though, look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Whee! We had a couple things going for us on this job. One, uh, we were able to find the nautical eye of towing. Well, the traction control is really off. I held the button down for about 20 seconds. I don't know if that was the magic thing or if the traction control button really works on this car and I can actually turn the nannies off. But yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing about this car that is driving for me except for the anti-lock braking system, which isn't I mean, I'm not using the brakes, so it's not really a problem. Things are going good. So while we're doing this job, it has started to rain slash snow again. So exciting stuff. I just realized that I'm doing a comparison right now between a Class C motorhome and a Subaru Crosstrek. Um, exact same environment, exact same situation. And in some ways, the motorhome was more stable. This thing wants to swap ends like crazy. That's all it wants to do. It's probably just because it's so light with such small tires, it just wants to skim on top. And the motorhome was actually digging down and getting a little bit of a footing. So there you go. That's, uh, if you ever wondered how a Class C motorhome would do against the Crosstrek in a head-to-head -head shootout in the mud on Smith's Mesa, the results are in. And I don't even know what the results are. I just know they're in. Look at that thing. I got your Jeep a little dirty. Yeah, you did. I don't even know whose Jeep this is now. That could be Robbie's for all we know. There you go. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go get the next one. All right, we're headed here to under canvas. There it is, if you can see it through this windshield. We don't have any washer fluid in the tank right now. We should look into that. Might get, be a good idea. Getting some put in it. But anyway, I guess they said that there's a trailer that's stuck. I don't know how a trailer can be stuck, but we're gonna go see what it is, see if we can get it out. Into the maintenance yard. The one that says do not do enter. Do not enter. Go see if we can figure out what's going on here. How's it going? Good, how are you? Are we in the right place? Yes, sir. All right. All the way down this dirt road down here. Okay. We're headed. There. Well, I'm getting my steps in today because when they said it's all the way in the back, they meant all the way in the back. All right, so what we got here is a full wood trailer. So we're gonna hook up and see if this is even gonna work. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Hold on, Colin. Okay, just go turn around. Come on back here. Let's get all this wood out of the way. Throw it on the back of the trailer. So my plan is to get hooked up to this trailer and then we're gonna have to pull a winch line to that tree right there. Get the trailer up out of that ditch. Once it's up on the road, then the banana should just be able to pull it. You in four low? Yeah. Okay. Left, left, hard left. Okay, right there, stop. Man, I don't know if we're gonna get this all the way out of here. Banana's gonna sag worse than the bombie. Here, let's do this. Grab me a piece of wood, Colin. Maybe right there. Who knows? Maybe that'll work. I can see the comments now. Yeah? How are they safe at any speed? Yes, I am unsafe. We should go get the wrecker, but we're not gonna. Okay, we're gonna get the winch set up and then we'll be right back. All right, we got that around the tree. Okay, jump in this Jeep. 
All right, Colin, this is going to be a no wheel spin procedure or very low wheel spin. I know we're going to be needing this. I'm going to build a little bit of a we'll build a little bit of a bridge here. Okay, we're going to go slow here because we're going to lose this. I think we're going to squat down in a second. Boom, we're down. Stop. I'm worried about the stump getting hung up on that leaf spring. So we're just adding, adding a little bit more dunnage here. See if we can clear that. Sorry, I'm the only one filming here. Okay, let's go. Start. I'm gonna let you start driving for a second. Turn hard left. I don't believe it. Okay. Keep, keep turning this way. Okay, see if you can turn this way. Okay, stop right there. Okay, run up and unhook that. I'm gonna start getting this wound up right. I don't want you to stop. So don't give it a little bit of gas and then let off and roll to a stop. That's what I'm saying. Cause you've got to climb up right here to do. Do a little bit and come this way. All right. It's working. thing down the road, it'd boss you around bad. <laughs> so let's see, we've got about six inches of, six or seven inches of Jeep to go up. Hey, you could fit it with those Carolina guys. Yeah? yeah. Here, I'll trade you. Huh. I thought you said you were hungry. I'm starving. Oh, you're off it. That's awesome. Look at that. Keep going. All right. Drive it off. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it. So the person that got the trailer stuck isn't here. They came in last night and it was kind of a bad day for them. They left. But I still feel like somebody needs a shirt. So let's see what we got here. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate Hopefully you. it Thank was you. You. entertaining to watch oh, no, at least. For sure, I appreciate you. We're gonna go grab some lunch and, and bre oh, breakfast and lunch for him. Holy smokes, Colin, you were loaded. Heavy, really heavy. I don't make a habit of betting against the banana, but I do have to admit I was not very optimistic. I thought we were going to have to winch basically the whole way. Once we got past that little bump, it just drove out. It wasn't bad, but yeah. you were on the bump stops. Oh yeah, no, that was that was completely tough. Well, it is time to get Colin some food. He missed breakfast and lunch. 
And he's one of those teenagers that when they get hungry, they get hangry. Just a little bit. He's also hungry, so he's gonna take some of the blame too. He's ready to get home just the same as me. Neither of us would cast a shadow right now. Thanks for watching. Not only do we use that bucket to hold t-shirts, we can use it to clean our windshields.